Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see configure and manage automation using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint provides automated investigation and remediation. The automation configuration options allows for control of how the automation is applied to the devices. For example, you are a SOC analyst working at a company that is implementing Microsoft DFE or Defender for Endpoint. You have different remediation automation requirements for devices and you plan to create device groups to manage remediation levels. Device groups provide two primary functions. It would set the remediation level and set the security access. In this video, we will see how to configure advanced features of Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and we'll see how to manage automation settings in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. First, we'll see how to configure the advanced features or configuring advanced features. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So the advanced feature page in the settings or general area. So if I go to settings on my security.microsoft.com portal, here is the settings. If you scroll down, the advanced features area in the general settings provides many on and off uh, switches okay if i go to security center these are the settings of 365 defender account alert tuning whatnot right endpoints because we are doing it for endpoints advanced features the section provides a set of advanced features you can enable. You have restrict correlation, you have enable EDR in block mode, automatically resolve alerts, block file, hide potential duplicate, device records, custom network, indicators and many different features. All right. You can read about all of these features in detail on Microsoft documentation but this is the option where you can come and enable or switch on the advanced features there is one automated investigation you have to turn on this feature to take advantage of the automated investigation and remediation features of the service it will help in auto resolve the remediate alert it will allow or block the file in all the different options that you have and then if you want to manage the automation upload and folder settings. So what is manage automation uploads? You can enable the file content analysis capability so that certain files and email attachments can automatically be uploaded to the cloud for more inspection and automated investigation. You will identify the files and email attachments by specifying the file extension names and email attachment extension names. For example, if you add exe and bat as file or attachment extension names, then all files or attachment with those extensions will automatically be sent to the cloud for more inspection during automated investigation. You can enable this feature if you are in settings endpoints. You scroll down and under rules, you have automation uploads. All right. In automation uploads, you have file content analysis, you have memory content analysis. As well, you can read about these features and you can add the file extension names and attachment extension names. You see, these are the file extension names. If you go to the end, you can add a comma and then add an extension and in here memory extension content analysis you can add it here and click on save if you don't want to click on save you click click on cancel so that what all features or extensions though were added by default remains intact you can manage automation folder exclusions as well automation folder exclusions is just below automation uploads you can uh, add the new folder exclusion here right folder extension file names and the description here you can specify the extensions to exclude in a specific directory the extensions are a way to prevent an attacker from using an excluded folder to hide an exploit you can add the file name uh, that you want to 
to be excluded in the specific directory you can add an automation folder exclusion as well now let me tell you how to configure automated investigation and remediation capabilities to configure automated investigation and remediation you turn up the you turn on the features and then set up the device groups so to turn on that automated investigation and remediation features we are under settings endpoints you go to advanced features here under general make sure that automated investigation uh, automated investigation and automatically resolve alerts are turned on resolve alerts is turned on here and automated investigation should also be turned on scroll down telemetry is on i think it was at the top automated auto remediation here when you come you have to set up the device group okay i still need to check the documentation if uh, nowadays automated investigation and automated resolve alerts are available right correlation enable let me check again resolve alerts i can see block or file potential custom network indicators temporal protection business defender for cloud apps content filtering device discovery live response in tune okay automated telemetry i need to check the documentation as well okay i'll check that now you have to set up the device groups if you don't know how to search for it just type in here and in the search option device groups and hopefully we'll see those options here let me go to the devices then okay you will find that here on the left hand side above settings you have permissions click on permissions and in here you will have device groups so if you are under settings click on endpoints under advanced features you will have to add this feature this when this setting is turned on alerts are correlated into separate incident based on their scope device group by default incident correlation happen across the entire tenant space you save the preferences click on save again okay so preference is saved but the changes will apply in few minutes All right so when you are done the, with the creation of device group in there you will have the automation level list we have to select a level such as full which would remediate threats automatically the automation level determines whether remediation actions are taken automatically or only upon approval if you want to read more about it you can learn the section or read the section how threats are remediated to get full details around this then there are certain automation levels which is as i told you full which remediate threats automatically then is a semi which requires approval for any remediation then there is semi which require approval for core folder remediation one more option semi which requires approval for non temp folders then there is no automated response also referred to as no automation okay then there are certain steps that you can do which you can block at risk devices which is the conditional access you have to read about the endpoint manager uh, you will need microsoft endpoint manager environment with intune managed and azure ad joined windows 10 or higher devices right then there are steps you will need to take in microsoft 365 defender microsoft uh, endpoint manager portal and azure ad portal then you need to have certain roles and access i might cover that conceptually in a separate video but for this i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries 
please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day